Hey friends, your girl Nebula Stone is in a certain mood today and let me tell you, when she is in her moods, she likes to talk. So we'll be talking and I sort of want to make this a thing, like, I don't know, like a talky Tuesday or, or I don't know, um, if it was like a Wednesday, it'd be like word vomit Wednesday. Doesn't that sound cool? Word vomit Wednesday. Yeah, but today's Tuesday, so I guess I'm gonna have to go with Talky Tuesday. Or I could come up with something else. I have a dictionary, so I can just go to T and find something that works. So we're at the T's, and oh, okay, I just flipped back to the S. Um, anyways, Take Off Tuesday! Rising from the ground. Huh. Hmm. Take off Tuesday? No. No. Taxation Tuesday. Here we tax... I don't know. Never mind. <laughs> that doesn't work. Terminate. Here on Terminate Tuesday, I'm going to teach you how to kill or not. Uh, Tongue Tie Tuesday. Maybe that's a good one. Except that means being unable to speak, so I guess not. Because I'm going to speak, okay? Here on Tobacco Tuesday, I'm going to teach you how to spit. I don't know how to spit. Um, hello, welcome to Transplant Tuesday. Today, I'll be showing you my new cheeks. <laughs> There are so many choices. There are so many choices. Tuesday, Tuesday. <laughs> That's fun. Tuesday, Tuesday. Okay, I'm like nearing the end of teas. What the heck? And I found nothing? Typical Tuesday. I don't like it. Okay. <laughs> So, maybe we'll find something later. Okay, on to my actual talking. Today in class, I saw something beautiful. I saw a student give another student his sandwich. Like, I don't care what you say. Like, sharing food is, like, the way of the heart. Well, that's true friendship right there, sharing sandwiches. <sighs> you know how they say that, like, dancers have ugly feet well you know I had this thought that like maybe I don't even like deserve to call myself a dancer because my feet aren't even that ugly like like if I really wanted to call myself a dancer I should have like some ugly ass feet but they're not they're not that bad I mean they're ashy but that's just because I'm a lazy fuck oh and while we're on the topic of feet all my life I thought that people were weird for having long toes I would see all these feet and I'd be like, why your toes so long? But really, all this time, I've just had really short toes. Look at this. I got midget toes. Okay, I'm going to be talking about something that's going to make some of y'all real mad. It's about the Free the Nipple campaign. First of all, I think it's dumb. Like, I'm pretty sure y'all recognize that there's a difference between a chest of a woman and the chest of a man. Like, first of all, my areolas don't look like his areolas. Boobs and pecs are not the same things, okay? And I know that's the thought behind this whole movement is that maybe people stop objectifying the woman's body, then women could go outside topless and then not be judged for it or arrested or whatever shit. But, like, honestly, let's be real, guys. Um, it's not the same. Human women are the only animals that have permanent boobs. All the other animals, they only have boobs when they're lactating, so their actual purpose for boobs is just to feed the children. But the thing is, we don't got to feed the children 24-7, but we always got boobs 24-7. So they're obviously there because of, like, biology and shit, and, like, I don't know, boobs are sexy. And they make mating possible. Have you seen my son? Nemo! Okay, 
so last week I was craving caramel ice cream but I couldn't buy it because homegirl decided to blow all her dough and only leave enough to pay for her phone bill and buy a couple of pop tarts and so I had to improvise what I had in my fridge was caramel sauce and you know what I had that caramel sauce by the spoons and we, which probably was not a good idea but you know what I was satisfied the craving was gone but what happened yesterday is that ice cream found its way back into the house and so I had that and I decided to have it with the caramel sauce. You know what? I hated it. It was too sweet. Like the caramel sauce on top of that ice cream, no. So that's ruined for me. I was watching Arrows and in an episode my favorite quote came up. Um, you know, a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. And then I was like, hey, that's a quote from my man Confucius. But the girl who said that shit said it was from Lao Tzu. And I was like, what? Lao Tzu? Who's this Lao Tzu? And so I went online to try to figure out who actually said that quote. And it turns out it is this Lao Tzu guy, not Confucius. I put, com like, I put this quote on my yearbook and I said it was from Confucius. It's my yearbook quote and then like I got it wrong and that's gonna be there forever and I'm gonna be looking like a dummy and you know what I was actually thinking about getting that quote tattooed on my foot because you know that seems cool as crap like and I was a and I was like literally about to put Confucius on my foot like who I would have Confucius tattooed on my foot when all the when all this time the guy I should have been looking at was Lao Tzu that is so sad so thank you arrows for making it all clear for me and now i have more time to think about my foot tattoo i guess and speaking of arrows watching all these women fight you know um helena shadow the leader of the triad and even laura like i'm like questioning my life right now like why don't i know how to fight like them i need to get this shit together because maybe if i knew how to fight like them i would feel like something this top sort of smells like it smells like my it smells like my body sweat and i'm sort of worried like what if it's like cumulative body sweat like i smell like this the whole day because like the last time i wore it maybe i like sweated all over it and didn't realize it stuck this much like did i go to school smelling like this shit or did this happen like after today i mean i did wear this to dance class and i was like dancing in it because i didn't feel like taking it off because I'm lazy, like I said before. Um, yeah. Anyways, yeah, homies, this is all I could give you today. Hopefully, I don't know, you got some ideas out of this, or maybe now you realize how crazy I am. I don't know, either way, you learned something. Bye, homies, I send you my love.